time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Miss greed and doubt Focus on the process Not the money And the profits Will flow like honey Power our lives Let's start the show Come on trade hackers Get ready to go Zero day options Time to make bank Get locked and loaded Then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone Welcome to Power Hour Live Monday, November 13th Hope all is well. Zero DTE has been good to us today. So Power Hour continues the Monday sentiment. So AM ratio hit profit target. I've got a quiet lunch. By the way, Ken, if you're on here, you are correct. I uh, should not have taken the early version, uh, but it just hit. Hit 80%. I was getting ready to show it. So just hit second profit target. I was actually on my uh, coaching call. And before I went in, I had everything set up and did not check after that last little push up. So I ended up taking it. But uh, yeah, that was not intentionally taken with the uh, move above 0.2%. All right. So. Tranche number one, We've got ourselves a normal day. So I need to buy some longs. Got ourselves a low premium straddle. So I'll give it a couple minutes here before I enter. Yeah, inverted strike. So I'll be taking a straddle, should have said. It holds here. Looks like it'll be the 15s. Upside expected move was at about 44.28. Price got up to about 44.21. Expected move to the downside was about 43.84. Got as low as... 4393 S&P is currently unchanged on the day NASDAQ down 24, Russell basically unchanged, Dow slightly green. Gold and silver slightly green. Notes and bonds pretty unchanged. Oil up 1.6%, Natty Gas up almost 7%. Grains pushed higher, Euro and the pound a little bit higher, Bitcoin down 1.5%. VIX hanging around 14.72%. Getting a little pullback right before entry here.
4415 straddle. Trying to get 630. About 620. Build at 620. So my stop reduction for tranche one will be at 370. So what do you do that there, Dick K? Do you take the inverted? No, you wouldn't have taken inverted. So you override it as a straddle on inverted days? But if you have trade steward at four bucks, it would have taken inverted, right? Or you're saying it was actually a straddle? Okay. Good, good. Good, good, good. All right, so a couple other positions. We've got our SPX. Single calendar, not much going on there. My six seven is up about a thousand bucks, not quite 20 percent would be another. So it looks like it's up maybe 15 percent or so. Also took a one two DTE via trade steward. That one is up a few hundred, 400 plus. Our time flies, still need a down move. The one that has a NOV 17 expiration, most likely going to take that loss to the upside. Unless we get a massive move down. The November 24, still got a decent shot at profit. We just don't want this thing to continue ripping higher with no pullbacks. And then the um, the Dece one is a little bit right of center, but still in okay shape. Uh, I did put on a rut duck when the market was down this morning. So we got a rut duck and an SPX duck. Got a couple of hedgehogs in ES, reverse hedgehog in gold. Both are doing okay. I wasn't trying to question your, I wasn't questioning you, Dick K. You know, I would never question you. I just thought maybe you overrode the, uh, you noticed it was a straddle. And so you had a separate test set up as a, or I thought you, maybe you had a separate test set up. So when it became inverted, that it would actually take a straddle. No, I learned my lesson, Dick. I'm not, <laughs> I am not questioning Dick K ever again. Uh, some good futures trades today. 
uh, S and P up about two K. Still got twenty longs left. Oil up about fifteen hundred. Should have said fifteen two K. Yeah, fifteen hundred two K. Just got in both of these pre market and been riding those up all day. So I'm going to get out of the oil one. Yeah. SPX giving us a little pullback here off the top. Yeah, on the futures, all I'm doing is, I mean, it's not really something I'm posting. It's just something I'm doing to... Uh, Something I'm doing to satisfy my discretionary urges. So what I've found is that if I have that going on, I don't do anything stupid with my main positions. But all I was doing is, all I'm doing is in the morning, I'm looking at the daily chart of the different futures. So the equity indices, gold, silver, notes, bonds, 10-year yield, oil, natty gas, grains, and I'm deciding um, if I think there is a decent chance of what I feel like is a directional move. So like S&P, for example, uh, was down. It was kind of, it kind of came down to that previous level, um, you know, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, they all kind of topped out right at that level and price had come down to there. So I just, that's where I got long. Just looking for a continuation higher, which you can see it hasn't. I mean, it obviously continued a little bit higher today, but not not even really that big of a move. And then oil, kind of same thing. Um, it had a big up day Friday, kind of pulled back and started to push higher. So I got in right when it got back up to where it opened and uh, just ridden, ridden that thing up today. Uh, I just, I have a futures account with trade of eight. And so I just, just to keep it separate, I trade in, I trade the, uh, directional futures in trade of eight. I don't mind trading it in toss, but trade of eight, I have zero commission. I just pay a monthly fee and I get unlimited, no, unlimited trades without commission. Yeah. Bumblebee it's, it's just straight futures, not futures options. Well, yeah, I mean, I probably won't be posting them just because, I mean, look at this. You can see I got in, got out, got in, got out, got in, got out. So I'm just, I'm scaling in and out too. So that's, it's not something I'm going to post every time I get in and out of. I just get in with a thesis and if it goes against it, I cut it out for, you know, I get, I have always have a stop loss. So I, I get stopped out for, a, you know, pretty small loss. And then I just try to squeeze as much as I can out of it. If it does go my, if it does uh, play out the way I think it will. Yeah, I can, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've done this off and on for some time, but I've just, I've been doing it more consistently lately, but yeah, I will, uh, I can do a little bit more detailed video. So I just, I place a stop where, you know, based on my thesis where it's no longer valid. So I don't have a specific dollar level, like, you know, on oil, for example, 
you know, it came down here, just kind of re retraced the previous bar and then pushed back up to where it opened. So my stop was under the low because if it, if oil would have gone back below the low of day, then my thesis was no longer valid. In the S&P, if price would have broken down kind of below that 4,400-ish level, I had my stop at like 39.90 or something like that to start. Uh, up for dollar, no, I don't. I don't really watch it that closely. I mean, I have a stop in, and then I usually will put a profit. Like if I have twenty contracts, I might I might put a profit target in with one contract, just so if that hits, then I I get a notification that the order was filled, and then I'll take a look at it. But I don't. I watch it very little. Uh, Trader Bianca, sometimes I, I mostly just trade the micros at this point. I'm, I mean, some days when I'm feeling it, I'll, uh, jump up with the big boys like Dick K, but for the most part, I'm just trading micros. Yeah. My tranche three for normal days is a uh, two to one. Tranche one, one to one, tranche two, one to one, and then tranche three, two to one. Uh, I've traded plenty of Forex in the past. I don't really, I don't really trade it these days. I'm really, I'm really just looking for one or two markets and then putting trades on in those. Of course you get the Euro and the pound that are, that have futures contracts as well. So. All right, about seven minutes until tranche number two. Uh, opt for dollar. You can you can see in my trade plan on the trade plan sheets when I do the different one to one or two to ones or um, the down day one has is two to one with calls, calls to puts. Almost forgot I had my bone broth on the stove. Also, I got into uh, got into my office this morning, and I had left. I have a little space heater under my desk. Sometimes my little toes get cold. Realized it had been on all weekend. That's always good. Yeah. So speaking of, so tomorrow CPI pre market. 
uh, as, as well as some FOMC members speaking 9 a.m. and 11.45 a.m. Central. Wednesday, pre-market PPI and retail sales. Thursday, some more FOMC speakers. And not much going on on Friday. It looks like Goolsby speaking. All right, I'm going to buy some longs for tranche two. It holds here. Looks like we'll have the 15s again. Did KG do a DKS today? I, I uh, hit my first profit target and then my second one got stopped out. I actually lost a couple hundred bucks. Almost a scratch. I got in at 755. Of course, mine's different than yours. Got in at 755, hit my first profit target, took half off at 605, and then the second half got stopped at at 1010. Still hanging around the 15s. Give it another minute. Tranche two fifteens five fifteen. Filled at five fifteen. I got my uh, Apple trade on this morning. So here's the one from last week. Still need a down move for that one. The one this week is already up a little bit.
Wait a minute. You don't you don't still have your Apple trade on from last week? I thought you just wait for your profit target. Ride it all the way up to expiration. Okay, gotcha. See, I got in the 85s at 132. Uh, you shouldn't have gotten assigned an Apple based on the dividend. It wasn't far enough in the money. So let's see, Apple's dividend is about 24 cents. So if you look at your if you look at your short calls, and now it's a little bit a little bit different, right? The the corresponding puts are trading around 27 or 28. So that's just slightly above the dividend of, of 24 cents. So, you know, right now, if, if dividend day was today, I would definitely be closing them. But at that point, it wasn't it wasn't very close. Apple would have had to make a big move higher to get assigned on that. It's still hanging around the 15 level. I haven't looked at financial juice all day. Anything exciting going on? Probably not. Starbucks Union plans work stoppage for November 16th. Biden in his meeting with China's presidency is going to set out vision for peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Oh yeah, I've had to pay a dividend. Not by not intentionally. Your calls are deep in the money. It's typically best to, if there's risk of assignments, typically best just to close.
Five minutes till tranche three. Got my longs locked in. Might have a little five wide strangle. Uh, try, I usually go in like 30 seconds before, just in case I have to replace. I got filled on tranche two at 13 minutes and 33 seconds. Might get a strangle, just might. Low premium strangle, but a strangle nonetheless. So Dick K with uh, Trader Sink, are you just going to go inverted if the strikes are inverted on tranche one? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, obviously, a small amount of data, but I mean, it, with the data we have, it actually tests a little bit better going inverted on tranche one than doing the straddle. All right, going in on the 2015s. I get filled at 340 or 345. Filled at 340. I think I paid up a nickel there by accident, but 
filled at 340. Let's see, tranche two, I got in at 515. So my stop reduction would be at 310. Tranche one and two trading at 460. Tranche one will get reduced at 370. I definitely got to work. I definitely want to work on getting uh, getting some more automation set up. I'm not sure I'll automate Power Hour. I mean, I'm here anyway. I mean, the benefit would be to avoid some of the little fat finger mistakes I tend to make every now and then. But I do want to automate some of the others. Chad, are you on the live stream? I think he is. All right, 44.15 is the sweet spot. Are you talking to me, Marl? Which which tranche are you asking about? Tranche three, I got filled at three forty. Fifteens and twenties. Fifteens and twenties were closest. Uh, PT inverted strikes means, so let's say I was targeting $4 of credit right now. Well, the $4 is 
um, has a lower strike on the calls than it does on the puts. So those are both you're 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 essentially trading two in the money options, as opposed to out of the money, or obviously a straddle is at the money. So inverted just refers to the uh, <clears throat> the calls being um, at a lower strike, being worth more than the puts. Tranche one down to 390. I'm looking for 370 to reduce my stop. Reading around four, three ninety five. Comes down a little closer to forty four fifteen, should be able to reduce. About 375. No, nope, didn't quite get down there. Still at 385, 390. 380. Three seventy five. Three seventy, I saw it. All right, reducing my stop on tranche one. Next stop, 310 for tranche two. Pretty good to get your stop reduced on tranche one with a straddle this early. They're giving us an extra 10 minutes tomorrow. That's nice of them.
took a little pause for us last week and then just ripped. Hopefully CPI and PPI give us a little downside. Just a little two-sided action would be nice. Uh, yeah, three dollars for tranche one. So, yeah, it's always based on the current price. So my tranche one was it got down when it got down to three seventy. I put the stop at six seventy. Punch two still hanging around three fifty five, three sixty. I need three ten. Hovering right near the fifteen, so it's gonna have to sit here for a bit to get down to three ten, it looks like. With twenty three minutes to go. Tomorrow is Tuesday the 14th. So we will be uh Chad will be streaming live in the morning in the morning tomorrow at the open. And then we'll be streaming for power hour. Crunch two down to 340. Uh, three thirty. Little one point bounce should get us down there. SPX down below 44.14. 
bunch of two hanging around 335, 340. Just a little bounce back up to 15 should do it. Early indication for market on close and balance 826 million buy side. Punch two down to three twenty five. I'm looking for three ten. Not quite ready to give it up yet. Still at 330. There's a little bounce. Let the premium might get sucked out on that little bounce, but still at 330. 325, 330. Three twenty. Three fifteen. Just a little bit more decay is all I need. Three fifteen. I saw three oh five. All right, reducing my stop on tranche two. All right. So tranche one. My stop reduced to six seventy. I got in tranche one at six twenty. Tranche two, got my stop reduced to 510. I got into tranche two at 515. So very little stop risk on tranche one or two.
and back up to 15. My one, two from earlier is up about 500. Let's see, where's that at? <clears throat> Got into that at 605. About six, 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 six dollars and seventy cents would be over 10%. Only trading at six fifty five. I've got my trade steward exit at twelve percent same day. Go ahead and get out of my last futures here. Twelve minutes to go, my friends. Twelve minutes to go. Still hovering around 14. VIX hovering at 14.71. Some peas, slightly red for the day. You are new here, as you can see. Once we get in our trades, we've got a lot of a lot of downtime. So feel free to post any questions you guys have. Fill in the gaps. Since we're in some straddles today, I'm gonna start taking positions off as we get as we approach five minutes until the bell. Uh, Dark Avenger, I've already, I've already got a uh, a single put calendar in SPX, so I'll be turning that into a double if it moves one direction or the other. We've got CPI and PPI, so I would think we'd get a little little movement.
So tomorrow is CPI and the options are at the IV is at 18.2. Wednesday is PPI and the options are at 16 and a half IV. So yeah, the uh, CPI is getting more, getting more love from implied volatility. Uh, Quanteo, you can, you can test that in option Omega, but doesn't test as well. MRP is calling a shot. Market's going to fall tomorrow. He must've got his crystal ball out of the repair shop. SPX down around 44.13. Would prefer a little two point bounce here in the next three minutes. I'm going to put my tranche one at 220 in case we get a quick bounce here. Down to the 12s. Uh-oh, we're moving. We're moving the wrong way. Stopped at a tranche two. 520. So in at 515, out at 520. So five cent loss on tranche two. Market on close and balance jumped up to 1.3 billion buy side. Need a little bounce here. We'll bounce back up to 15s. Little bounce. Launch one trading at three fifty. See if it's going to give us a little bounce here. I have my order to close tranche one at 220. Let me close tranche three. Close tranche three at 750. Just have tranche one left. I 
don't you want to give us a little bounce? Just a little baby bounce. Got my order at 350 on tranche ones, currently trading at 390. All right, I'm bouncing. Build at 415 on tranche one. All right, so tranche one got in at 620 out at 415. So that was a couple dollar winner. Tranche two was basically a scratch, and then tranche three was a loser. Got into that one at 340 out at 750. So net net, I believe, little loser, little loser today. All right, my friends, we'll be back for power hour tomorrow. Uh, Chad will be streaming live at the open. All right, guys, have a good night. Take care.